Hey guys, Sprouts here. Welcome back to the channel once again. Another undecember guide here. I'm going to talk you through the Zodiac EG or AKA the Talent Tree. A lot of people seem to be getting confused by this what and where to put their points. So I'm going to go through it right now for you so you can better understand it. So do us a massive favor, like the video, make sure you have subscribed. And we'll get straight into exactly what the Zodiac is. Right, so guys, to access the Zodiac, you probably know this from doing the tutorial, but you do press the three lines at the top right. Then you go to Zodiac, which is the third one along if you're still in Korean. And you get this massive, vast talent tree of things, which I'm told is going to actually expand further than it is right now as you level up and you spend more points you do unlock more trees as you can see i've currently got five of them open now obviously the initial one is your strength dexterity and intellect and a lot of people will tend to put most of their points into one of these and there's a good reason you can do that but i tend to sort of mix and match them as such i tend to keep dexterity the highest because Hit and evasion has a lot to do with the build I've got. But I do also want HP, defense rate, mana, and barrier. So obviously look at the stats of each one they're doing. And you do actually need these at certain levels for runes. But that's another video entirely. So make sure you are subscribed. And if you want to know that, I'll be uploading it shortly. So next we're going to the first town tree. So these ones are the ones to watch because these three specific ones and the first one are more or less the same thing but you have to think of which one fits your character the best so if you're an archer or you're a mage or you're a tank or you're you know an assassin like i am pick the one that's going to benefit you the most so this one obviously physical damage plus physical hit attack speed in hp is what fit mine we also got projectile damage this is going to be for mages and um archers etc and of course Elemental damage is also going to be for me. Just so really, it's a bit hit or miss, but I would say physical damage for Melia, projectile damage for archers and stuff like that, and of course, elemental damage for mages. I see a mage very use loosely. Obviously, it's classless. There's no specific class, but like a magic focused build is what this one's for. The next one we'll come to has three different ones in. Now, I've went for the swamp one because it gives HP evasion, and that helps with me a lot uh, you've obviously got ones that give you barrier and de defense rate and you've got one that gives you evasion and defense rate but i mean maybe it doesn't really matter whichever one you think is more priority you should go for on that one and number three i've went for the one that increases melee damage obviously i do a lot of melee so this is going to help me immensely you've got one for elemental damage you've got one for projectile damage and you've got one that increases what your portions do. You just have to prioritize what you really want out of your build. Obviously, if you're going to put more trade points into these as opposed to whatever. So obviously, I forgot to mention at the start of the video as well. The yellow points go into Dex, Strength, or Intelligence. And the blue ones go into the other ones. Which is like your traits versus your stats. So yeah. Now the final one, this is one where it gets a bit dodgy. Because there's that many of them. So, rune damage. Now, this is for a summoner, and then this is for what I am, you know, Melia. And then you've got trap, you've got totems, you've got fire, elemental damage, you've got elemental resistance. You know, it's really opening it out a bit more into the different builds you can do. Obviously, I haven't got seven or, or eight or, or six open or five open even. But as you can see, there's so many in each one of these that the specific builds are going to be absolutely endless to what you can put points in here, as well as how many points you're going to need to fill all these. I mean, just one of these is like, what, for that this, this one to fill alone is 11 levels. So it's quite vast what you can do in the Zodiac. But like I say, guys, I'll explain it better in another video, but these are mainly focused on your rune skills, as well as the added buff that they give to your character itself. So guys, if you've enjoyed watching this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.